In twenty antiphon, your priest, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy one shall ring out their joy. And we celebrate the Mass of St. Henry, the also priest. And our Mass intentions in thanksgiving for all answered prayers, for an increase of faith, hope, and trust in God during the difficult times for Ryan Kenneth Leonardo on his birthday, for the healing and complete recovery of Father Ronnie Kearns, OMI, Diana Lurie, Francis Kayaba, and all those recommended to our prayers, for our families, friends, and benefactors, for the eternal repose of the soul of Gregory Pregnolato, those who have recently died, and all the souls in purgatory for peace in the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, as we come before the Lord, acknowledging our sins, and so preparing ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you wonderfully joined in your priest, St. Henry de Otto, a life of continual prayer and untiring apostolic activity. By the help of his prayers, may we persevere in the love of Christ and serve your church by word and deed. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his service, offering repeatedly the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when Christ had offered for all time a single sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, then to wait until his enemies should be made a stool for his feet. For by a single offering, he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. And the Holy Spirit also bears witness to us. For after saying, this is the covenant that I will make with them, after those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws on their hearts and write them on their minds. Then he adds, I will remember their sins and their misdeeds no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer any offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Be you are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord's revelation to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your foes your footstool. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power. 
Rule in the midst of your foes. You are our peace forever, in the light of Melchizedek. With you is princely rule on the day of your power, in holy splendor from the womb before the dawn, I have begotten you. You are our peace forever, in the light of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Alleluia. Alleluia. The seed is the word of God, and the sower is Christ. All who find him will abide forever. Alleluia. <laughs> The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, again Jesus began to teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land, and he taught them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, where it had not much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil, and when the sun rose it was scorched, and since it had no root it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain and other seeds fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. And he said, He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, those who were about him with the twelve asked him concerning the parable, and he said to them, To you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God, but for those outside everything is in parable, so that they may indeed see but not perceive, and may indeed hear, but not understand, lest they should turn again and be forgiven. And he said to them, Do you not understand this parable? How then will you understand all the parable? The sower sows the word, and these are the ones along the path where the word is sown, when they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word which is sown in them. And these in like manner are the ones sown upon rocky ground, who when they hear the word, immediately receive it with joy. And they have no root in themselves, but endure for a while. Then when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the delight in riches and the desire for other things enter in and choke the word, and it proves unfruitful. 
but those that were sown upon the good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. I am sure, dear friends, that there are many who delight in doing gardening and that it brings for them a great pleasure indeed in their lives. But whether it is the gardeners or the farmers, they know that if they are to grow things successfully, the plants need nourishing. They can't just chuck a few seeds here and there and hope for the best. Conditions have to be right. There has to be the right amount of sun, of rain, and above all, there must be good soil. And Jesus' teachings are full of stories about what the people of his time knew about fishing, growing crops, scarcity of water, harvest, and in today's gospel, he paints a picture of someone sowing seed, and the seed scatters everywhere. There's lots of detail about where the seeds go, and he explained to his somewhat bemused apostles that this parable is about the Word, the Word of God, God's truth. We can learn a lot from the metaphors of this parable. For if we are like the places where God's truth is sometimes sown, hard, lacking depth, failing to enable the seed of truth to take root, then God's truth won't grow. If we think again about gardening, we can understand how much responsibility we all have for the flourishing of the Word of God. Like the seed, the Word needs nurturing. And if we are followers and believers in Christ, then we have to ensure that the Word of God flourishes. And if we don't, the world will not get the spiritual food that it is so dependent on. There will be no harvest. Growing the harvest requires our time and our patience. It needs, above all, our commitment. And so we pray in this Holy Eucharist that we may be open to the Word, the seed of life in our lives, that we may once again be willing to remove within our lives all things that somehow stops the Word the seed of life to grow within us. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Amen. Lord, by this celebration, may your spirit fill us with the same light that shone in your servant, St. Henry, and urge him to promote your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Give them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of your saint, Henry de Osso, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Stephen and Sylvester, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Henry de Ozzo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, that we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your woe, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
communion antiphon, this is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord put in charge of his servants to distribute their allowance at the proper time for our brothers and sisters making a spiritual communion. May the grace of the Lord's holy word be with you. Let us pray. Lord, may the sacred mysteries we receive help us to follow the example of St. Henry, who worshipped you with unfailing devotion and spent himself in loving service for your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. go in the peace of Christ. Amen.